up YouTube? Yo gang, welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally gonna have that versus between the Cicado CS and the Bull Armory SAS2 Ultralight. Now I'm really excited about this because I absolutely love the Cicado CS. Uh, when I shot it, I was completely in love with it. But in the same breath, I fell in love with the Bull Armory as well. Um, when I was shooting this pistol. So we're gonna get into it. We're gonna talk a little bit about the specifics and just see how they compare in the feel, how they compare in the shoot, and um, just give you a little bit of the differences between the two. Okay, so um, that is what we're shooting. Let's go in with the staccato first. They both come in very, very nice bags. Uh, can't, I gotta give them that for sure. Oh, wrong zipper. And here is the Staccato CS. All right, the firearm is clear and it is also very attractive. Very attractive pistol, I really like it. But before I go any further, this is the new eye drip for today. These are my Pit Vipers. Uh, there you go. All right, so um, the Staccato CS also weighs in a probably in, is an ounce more than the Bull Armory. One weighs 21, one weighs a little over 21 ounces. Um, the Staccato has a three and a half inch barrel. Um, this is a bull barrel, not a fluted barrel. The Bull Armory has a fluted barrel. We have the Dawson Precision front fiber optic sight. You have your rear sight. It is an exposed hammer. Let me let you see that. The hammer is exposed. You do have your grip safeties. The trigger is anywhere between four and four and a half pounds. So there's a different in trigger weight for both. They both share um, your optic rails on there. And it comes, the Staccato comes with three magazines and the Bull comes with two. So we ran through that. Now let me open this up and give you the visual of this Bull Armor here. Now when I said they share a lot of very similar characteristics. Let's do a quick clear check. Safety. Firearm is clear. Okay. They share a lot of very, very similar characteristics. Your Bull Armory has a uh, fiber optic front sight. It has a fluted barrel. As you see here, the barrel is a different shape, um, different from the bull barrel. The uh, barrel length on here is three and a quarter versus the three and a half on the staccato. They both share optic rails. Now, the bull armory has, I'm gonna call it the any. It's an unexposed hammer. So the hammer is actually introverted into the slide for carrying purpose so you don't get snagged on your clothes and, and all that good stuff. But as you can see, the staccato has the exposed hammer. They both have very deep trigger guards. Uh, the staccato looks like it might have a more, uh, uh, no, they look about the same um, as far as the, the, um, the, ha the safeties, the grip safeties, I'm sorry. And the triggers, they are very similar. Uh, looking style triggers they oh but look at here if you look at the serrations in the slide on the bull armory they're a lot more pronounced than the staccato would that make a difference um i guess in a more uh battle situation you would definitely get the um the grip on the bull armory probably a little more than the staccato both of the slides are equally butter if you can hear and see they both share very nice smooth side slides. Uh, they both have ambidextrous safeties on both. <clears throat> and the grip texture on one has more, which is the staccato, has more of a sandpaper feel with the staccato. Big Texas star on there. Uh, also feels very nice. And your Bull Armory has more of a diamond cut pattern on that grip. Uh, let's look at the mag releases. Mag release on the staccato is a circular mag release. I would be able to, or I am able to engage the mag release with the staccato. Um, it seems like because the grip might be a little thicker on the staccato. So my thumb actually reaches all the way around and is able to engage 
that um, mag release. Now on the Bull Armory, I have a harder time engaging that mag release because it's just right at the tip of my thumb. Um, but I think that's, that's pretty much what we're talking about today. Uh, lengthwise, visually, yes, the staccato is just a slight longer, maybe not even, I can't even give you a, you see that? Maybe if I turn it this way, you'll be able to see better. Just a slight difference in the two. They both look good, but right now, I'm y'all know I'm a staccato girl. I love staccatos, but in all honesty, the Bull Armory does have a tougher, meaner look, in my opinion. I do also see here they have serrations on the trigger guard. Um, I guess I do see some people, they do have the grip over the trigger guard. Um, that guess that would prevent some sliding or slipping. Um, that is not my preferred grip, but if it's yours, that is completely fine as long as you're hitting your target. And the staccato does not have that. It is a quite smooth trigger guard. They both seem to be quite uh, nice and wide. The staccato looks like it does have a little wider trigger guard than the bull. But mm, enough talking yoke. I'm excited. I cannot wait to shoot these pistols for y'all. So with that being said, we are in a safe and controlled environment. We are at the gun range. So y'all already know what we got to do. We got to suit them up so we can send them down range. Okay, as I was saying, the Staccato comes with three 16-round magazines. The Bull comes with two 16-round magazines. We are still shooting 124. We will be shooting 124 grain for um, each one of these pistols. This is the Fiocchi Training Dynamics. And we are going to go in with the Staccato first, the Staccato CS. All right, this is not an accuracy test. This is just a mechanics and functions test. I want to run them both, uh, work the trigger a little bit for both and see exactly how I feel. And then we'll bring it back and see um, as far as accuracy goes, what uh, does it best. Staccato CS. How did that look? Looked good. <clears throat> All right, let's play with that trigger a little bit. Had a little hiccup there. Uh, that was a terrible throw. Terrible. Although, had a little delay, but she shot very nice and smooth. Recoil is very manageable. This is the Staccato CS. And the firearm is clear. All right, now we are going to go in with the Bull Armory. We're gonna do the same thing. First magazine, we're gonna shoot. Uh, you tell me how it looks. Second one, we're going to get into it. Very nice. See, I can't get that. Magazine <laughs> release. nice this is going to be hard this is going to be really hard she's clear wow somebody was peeking at somebody <laughs> to get this right both magazines load beautifully 
have zero complaints about that. They both feel great in the hand. Let's get reloaded and do it again. All right, so both magazines load very, very nicely. I am so torn. I don't even know what to say. We're going back in with the Staccato CS. Finding that little hiccup. Keep having that little hiccup there, but no problem. Firearm is clear. Man, it's so humid out here. Chew. Bull Armory. Hands are slipping a little bit, getting sweaty. Oh, now, cheese. That's for sure. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Yeah, mag release is super tough for me. Firearm is clear. All right, so we had a hundred rounds for each. I got four left for the Staccato and I got a whole lot left for the Bull Armory uh, because the Staccato has three magazines. We were able to go through that hundred a lot faster, but we have quite a bit left for this full armory. It's okay, but these magazines are great. All right, Staccato CS. I kind of shared out a little bit of uh, ammo from the CS. So we got 10 in here. Let's get these 10 out. I know y'all seeing it. I know you are. Firearm is clear. And our last two magazines for this bull baby. Inserted the magazine and the slide went forward. Perfectly fine. What happened? All right, we have one failure. Looks like it was a failure to actually load that. Let's get rid of that. Let's not even worry about that. Very good. Not sure what caused that. Got a little bite on here. I think um, I know what happened. I must have engaged the safety with my thumb uh, during that last round, trying to make sure I kept that nice firm grip on it. So when I was shooting, I believe between the recoil and trying to control the recoil, I must have knocked the safety into, um, not into fully engaged, but partially engaged, which stopped the actual round. 
and the slide um, to move forward and get back into battery for that last shot. Um, so that I feel like it was user error. It was not the actual pistol. Now, both pistols. All right, we ran a little over 100 through the staccato and we just a little under 100 just because the magazine uh, count is different. So I didn't want to um, drown you out with the last three magazines on the the bull so that was my reason for doing that but both run absolutely great i did find a little bit of hiccuping in the trigger with the staccato the staccato has a four between a four pound and a four and a half pound trigger the bull armory has between a three and a three and a half pound trigger i felt in my opinion it could be because the poundage is different it felt like the trigger in the bull armory was a nicer smoother trigger um, it could just be a weight thing, um, in my opinion, but if it's a plus, it's a plus. I'm going to tell you how it is. The trigger in the bull armory, in my opinion, is a nicer, smoother trigger. Uh, the staccato shares a little, it's, it's a little heavier than the bull. So, uh, shooting the staccato, in my opinion, it felt like I was able to control the recoil, even though it does have an upgraded recoil system. Um, and I feel like, um, the bull armory does as well. Um, to keep that um, pistol as a as much as a flat shoot as possible, and um, they're both very very nice shoots in my opinion. If you cannot get your hands on a Staccato CS, whether because it's too hard to find or the price point is just if the price point is just not there for you to get the staccato ces please know that if you do go get you a bull armory sas2 ultralight that you are not falling short in any shape or form it performed absolutely great i am torn in my decision in the two which one i actually like the best because they shoot so similar in the two just very minor uh differences and when i say minor differences meaning in the grip field the staccato grip is, is a lot thicker in diameter meaning in uh the around actually getting my hand around the grip of the staccato is a little gripper the grip on the um the bull armory is a lot thinner uh, grip in my hand. I enjoy the look, the aesthetics of the Bull Armory more. It looks to me, it uh, has a more tougher look to it. Yes, the Staccato has that classic, classy, clean uh, look to it. You can't take that from them. They're very beautiful. Oh, these darn nets, they're very beautiful pieces. But to me, the Bull Armory just has that more rugged, tough look and the fact that it has an any we're going to call it an any the fact that it has an introverted uh hammer is something that also caught my attention very much so because for that reason of you know snagging on your clothes and all that good stuff or all that stuff but it's not a deal breaker between the two let me drop this really quick. It's not the, a deal breaker between the two as far as actually um, making a decision based on, on a hammer. One is an any and one is an Audi. I don't discriminate on belly buttons. <laughs> Yo, gang, listen. What did you think? What did you see? How did you feel? Would you consider um, the, the Bull Armory? Would you consider the CS? What is it that you saw? What it, you know, again, in my opinion, I can't make my mind up out of the two. I can't say one is actually better than the other because they both performed absolutely great. I enjoy them both. I would definitely carry both. Um, no problem. The price point can be a deal, bre uh, deal breaker for many people. And like I said, don't feel cheated if you go ahead and get it. It's worth it. It is definitely worth it. Definitely worth it because it ran great. Um, at this point, I may have a little over 200 rounds in the um, SAS and my CS. We're probably heading towards 500 rounds and I have no problems. They both ran absolutely beautifully. Well, again, drop in the comments what you saw as far as recoil control, um, 
muzzle rise, all that good stuff. Let's talk about it. Yoke gang, y'all already know I love it when things work. But before we leave here today, make sure you check out www.yokegang.com. Pick up a patch, support the channel. I make this happen for you guys based on your support. Thank you for being here with me. Y'all already know I love it when things work and I love y'all for life. Peace.